Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through the Course in Miracles at Daily Lessons, and today we're on Lesson 339. I will receive whatever I request. No one desires pain, but he can think that pain is pleasure. No one would avoid his happiness, but he can think that joy is painful, threatening, and dangerous. Everyone will receive what he requests. But he can be confused, indeed, about what the things he wants, the state he would attain. What can he then request that he would want when he receives it? He has asked for what will frighten him and bring him suffering. Let us resolve today to ask for what we really want, and only this, that we may spend this day in fearlessness without confusing pain with joy or fear with love. Father, this is your day. It is a day in which I would do nothing by myself, but hear your voice in everything I do, requesting only what you offer me, accepting only thoughts you share with me. I'll read it again. I will receive whatever I request. No one desires pain, but he can think that pain is pleasure. No one would avoid his happiness, but he can think that joy is painful, threatening, and dangerous. Everyone will receive what he requests, but he can be confused indeed about the things he wants, the state he would attain. What can he then request that he would want when he receives it? He has asked for what will frighten him and bring him suffering. Let us resolve today to ask for what we really want, and only this, that we may spend this day in fearlessness without confusing pain with joy or fear with love. Father, this is your day. It is a day in which I would do nothing by myself, but hear your voice in everything I do, requesting only what you offer me, accepting only thoughts you share with me. This is beautiful because it's, it's really uh, putting a point on it here. We receive what we ask for. And so, um, and, and it's, it's counterintuitive to understand this, I think. A lot of times we focus on what we don't want and we don't realize that what we're really doing is telling the universe that we want more of that. By focusing on what we don't want, We are communicating energetically with everything around us. And everything that's around us is not necessarily discerning. So it just responds to the energy. So if the energy that you're giving out is is focused on something that you're not liking, the universe, God, is not going to understand that. What they're going to feel and see is that you are focused on this. And the assumption basically is uh, the response is that you must want more of it. So you really want to be very careful about how you construct your thoughts and your wishes because you will receive whatever you request. So stay focused in on the positive things Think of things in the way that you want them to be, not in the way you don't want them to be. Remember that saying, we've talked about this before, what you resist persists. And the reason that that's true is this this exact point, because you're focusing on it. And because you're focusing on it, you will get more of it. So focus on what you really want. If you want more love, focus on being more loving. If you want more peace, focus on being more peaceful. Not focusing, don't focus on the things that are taking your peace away. You see what I mean? Focus on more peace. Focus on love. Not the fact that you're feeling the lack of love. So I hope those short examples help. Um, feel free to reach out to me for additional support, 907-351-3003. You can text me 
uh, is best. Um, message me through Facebook or SoundCloud or YouTube or through my websites, lindalamp.com, lindalamp.shop. And until tomorrow, namaste and much love. <laughs>